Be sure we're live on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Hi everyone, welcome to Behind the Scenes um, 003. Um, we are recording this for our podcast. We are live on Instagram, we are live on Facebook, and the first time we're live on YouTube, so we thought we'd try as many as possible and, and, and see how it goes. Normally we start with a Q&A, but um, to allow you all who are watching to send your questions in, um, do that now, and then I'll. my idea was I'll talk through our microwave range for... Um, for sort of 10 minutes just to, to show everybody what we're doing in microwaves and then we will um and then we'll answer some of the questions that have been sent in okay so the first microwave this is our nordic microwave um it's this is the scots pine edition uh, or the color um this is currently our most popular microwave uh, it's currently our most copied microwave. Um, this microwave's done really, really well for us. Um, and the, our, our most popular um, type of microwave is a 20 litre digital. Um, parts are still in this one, but uh, as you can see, there's plenty of space in there for, for everybody. So 20 litre is definitely the, the most popular when it comes to the size and also it doesn't take up too much um, space on your worktop. Um, like I said, Nordic range, super popular for us. Slightly different again. Um, this is a it's a manual. It's manual because it's got the two uh, two controls here. Again, twenty liter model. So got the bits inside it. Uh, white enamel on the inside uh, for easy clean. Um, we do this uh, this model in a range of colours: uh, blue, cream, and grey for us. Uh, again, there's a digital version of this, and there's a, and there's a bigger version of this because it does again it does so well for us. Um, right, what else have we got? This is our bigger retro meter, so it takes a bit more space on the worktop. But again, as you can see, in the steel, uh, which makes it even easier to clean and sort of more professional. Um, but yeah, 25 litre, and this is available in a range of colours as well. And this is a digital version. This is our copper model, part of our townhouse range, done really, really well. As you can see, there's only like a slight copper accent on it. Again, 20 litre digital. When we tend to do microwaves, we tend to do the 20 litre in digital. That's the, the process. Um, and then we look at branching out to various sizes and whether we look at manual as well. Last one. This is our Gatsby microwave. This is available in white and black and with a gold trim to give it that sort of 20s flare, which we're into now. Again, 20 litre on the inside. Um, a few little bits from me on microwaves. So, you know, 20 litre microwave is a good size. Uh, most families can use it. You can heat soup in it quite comfortably. You can do pretty much everything in it. You can fit a good normal size dinner plate. Uh, one thing for, from a sort of microwave hack point of view, um, people um, don't look after the interior of the microwave, so I'd say regularly clean it. You know, Lindwee Clean suggests you know use a uh, lemon and a bowl of water, really uh, loosens it all up. Um, the other thing I would say is if you've done any type of steaming or cooking in your microwave, I'd leave the door open for a little bit afterwards, because if you leave the door open, it allows the steam and the condensation to get out. And if you do that, um, there's less danger of getting you know built up mess, smells, that kind of thing. So just leave the door open after you've used it, and it will just uh, it will help. So, questions? <coughs> Thank you. Will the pink dishwasher be back in stock? Uh, unfortunately, what, so there's a lot of colours in the retro, and a lot of products in the retro that we don't always have in stock, and that's purely because we don't always have... Um, uh, we. So the more popular colours we'll release first, and then um, what we can do through our analytics on our website is see how popular product is by the number of visits etc so at the minute the pink dishwasher really isn't on our on, on our horizon um any new products coming soon uh yes there's, pl there's plenty of new products coming soon our um our can you have a word um our big launch normally is exclusively housewares 
um, an exclusive to Housewares for us is June, um, mid-June uh, mid uh, in London and Islington. So all our new products will be launched there. But yeah, we've got some good ideas. And as you know, we like to come up with sort of weird, funky niche products and designs. Um, and so, yeah, we've got a lot of new things coming through. On that though, um, from a new product development point of view, with everything that's happening with the coronavirus uh, in China, the um, production of, um, of new designs and ranges taking a lot longer than it normally would. So um, we're rushing to try and get everything ready for June, but yeah, there's, there's nothing nothing to show at the moment. Um, the products that are being set up, which I can talk about is, so the espresso machine that we did in Retro Nordic has been massively successful for us. We are launching a step up model to that. So um, it's even easier to make your coffee. It's, it's a similar looking unit, it will be available in Retro Nordic, um, but it has a milk attachment as well. So the milk attachment allows you to literally press latte or um, espresso or cappuccino and it will make it for you. Um, what's the best rated vacuums? Okay, so um, the Power Plus, I think we've got, so we had VacMat with us last week and he, it's worth looking at the previous content that we made with the VacMat, which is on our YouTube channel. Our podcast with VacMat is out on Sunday. <coughs> so again, he runs through our range and we've actually, while he was here, we film a lot of content with him, um, which is just being chopped up and edited at the minute and then we'll be putting that out soon. But um, from my point of view, um, I have two or three of the models in my house um, because my wife likes to, use them all and, and fill them up with um, dust that I always empty. Um, and Jen, I'm sure you're watching. Um, so Power Plush Turbo, um, is, it's got two heads in it. It's really good. It got a good housekeeping award for 2019. Um, and it really is uh, an all singing or dancing machine. It's 149.99. Um, and that product has two different heads. There's a soft head, which isn't available on many vacuum cleaners, and soft head's great on hard floors and you know kitchens, bathrooms, that kind of stuff. And also it doesn't damage because of the soft head. Because people worry about using a, a, a coarse brush head on um, hard floors. Also, we do have a coarse brush head as well, which is great for carpet, so I use that model. Uh, also got the Hyper Clean, which is the step up, which is $199.99. Uh, again, a great model, but this literally has a button on it, has a turbo feature and it has um, uh, and it has a battery indicator and uh, a few other bits and uh, pieces on it like you can change between. So when you walk into the kitchen, you can put it on half floor setting. When you go into uh, into your lounge and you've got a carpet, you can flick it back onto carpet settings so the, the motor kicks in. So that's a great product. But the other products that are doing really well for us are the, uh, the upright vacuum cleaners. So um, so selling hundreds, if not thousands uh, of those at the moment. Um, we have the orange model, um, which is the more basic, um, which is again a great appliance. But for me, the um, the pet extend version of the upright vacuum cleaner is great because um, it's got I think it's a nine meter um, power cord on it, and the nine meter so that basically allows you to almost plug it in if you're doing the downstairs of your house, plug it in, and you can pretty much cover most of the downstairs without taking the plug out. Also has a really long tube on it as well, so extension tube. So um, you're allowed to do the whole stairs, um, literally without you know putting the vacuum cleaner on the stairs and carrying it up, you know, which can lead to either damage in your carpet or dropping it and that kind of thing. So um, yeah, vacuum cleaners, we, we, we've done really really well. We, we launched them a year ago. Again, like I said, by all means, go back and check the interview we did with the vac mat. He walked through the the entire range, so don't just take our word for it. But we're really excited for how well the vacuum cleaners have done. And again. Um, there's a lot of new product development that's coming on the vacuum cleaners um, later this year. Um, so look out for those. Um, best vacuum. What's new in the microwave world? Okay, so we don't do them currently, but there's um, some of the, so let's say, bigger household brands do. Um, I think they're called flatbed uh, microwaves. It basically doesn't have a turntable in the bottom, but from our point of view, um, that technology isn't worth the cost yet. Um, people used to have a turntable. So what we like to really cling to is, you know, affordability. We want great products, but affordable products. So that technology isn't there for, for us yet to make it affordable. But I am sure in the next, you know, year, two years, more and more will be like, you can just, you know, put your, so you just soup in a microwave and it will just heat it up without having to do the rotation. Do you do collaborations? Well, yeah, I'm sure if you watch our stories, I think we've got 500 collaborators currently so we're always looking for new collaborations um for collaborations please email marketing at swan-brand.co.uk and someone will get back to you but as i say every week please bear in mind that we are getting hundreds of inquiries a day hundreds of dms a day um while while i'm here as well actually 
we get um, on our Facebook page, on our Instagram page, we get a lot of customer service queries. So um, all our socials managing managed by marketing teams and not our customer service team. So what I would do is um, if you've got any queries about orders, deliveries, that kind of thing, um, on our website, as soon as you open up the homepage, there's a little web widget at the bottom to contact customer service. I click on that and send your query. It goes straight to the right team and they'll get back to you um, as soon as you can. Um, will you do Nordic in black? Um, no, we won't do Nordic in black because it doesn't sit the theme of Nordic. We have some other ideas with black, which we're working on. Again, I can't talk to you too much about that at the moment. But yeah, Nordic and black doesn't doesn't sit. Um, I think we, we covered it in maybe behind the scenes at 002. When we're looking at, we look at stories before we look at product. So um, so Nordic, the idea came from, yeah, the whole Scandi um a Scandinavian revolution with everything that the likes of Ikea were doing, um, the whole, um, I won't say hugging movement, if that's the right word, if that's how you say it. You know, there's a whole movement for that on Instagram. So we looked at that as a story and then built a range of products around that. And the, the key colours for us were the white, the, the, the cotton white that we do, the Nordic grey, and also the, the Scots pine green. Where They were the three colours that we felt really went into that. Um, like I said, we are looking at other black, but we currently do do other blacks. Like we have a symphony black, we have a retro black. So there are other products in black. Um, do we have a combi microwave? We did do the retro um, 25 liter in a combi and there might still be some available on the website. I think it's the model number is 22080, SM22080. There might still be some on the website, but again, it was a really slow mover for us. And the microwave market where we are, we see it as very much sort of sixty pounds to maybe one hundred and ten pounds is our is our key area for uh, for for a price. The combi was pushing it a little bit too too far up. I personally have a combi microwave because again it's great at Christmas because when you're running out of oven space you can turn onto the oven setting and it and it works really well. Anything else? Um, someone's asked when the retro pans are back in stock. Uh, some of the retro pans are back in. Some came in Monday. Some come in today. Some come in tomorrow. That's I think the five pieces and the pan sets. Um, some of the frying pans and stuff um, basically sold out yesterday because we did a um, fantastic campaign on pancakes. So while everybody else is po posting about pancake recipes and ideas and that kind of the usual rubbish and fortune that you see on social media now, we were trying to. Um, we actually see today is more of a key day for for selling pans so we we twisted it on his head we we shared a lot of footage yesterday of pan disasters and bad pans uh to then um using our influencers and our promoters on instagram to to post videos yesterday and today of how good our pans are and how um how non literally how non-stick they are because making a pancake or frying an egg that they're, they're the real tests for a pan uh, and hopefully you can see on our stories and on our tiles and um, today you'll see just how good our pans are um we are bringing out Nordic pans. They're um, being shot at the minute uh, for photography and video. Um, but again, with the coronavirus, it's very difficult to say exactly when those when those products will be landing. Um, but yeah, look out for those soon. And then there'll be a whole uh, range of um, pots and pans coming in, in our different ranges very soon. Anything else? Will you be doing a large stock part in the sauce pan range? So bigger than the one we currently do? Uh, I don't think so. Again, I think for us, what we try to look at is we look at where the sort of mass market is, but how we can make it different. So rather than doing sort of niche products, we'll do niche designs. And that's where we that's where we feel that we found our, our forte. Um, at the minute, there currently isn't. Um, we did do, there might be some stuff left in the fern range. There was some real nice oven to table where, where we had like lasagna dishes and casserole pots and things like that. Um, also, there might be a, a development of that coming soon. But yeah, by all means, check out like the fern cotton range. Um, there's a, I think there's a few little bits left on the website. So there's some big, some big pots in, in there. Any plans for retro mugs? Retro mugs, yeah. I mean, retro for us, uh, you know, I feel I feel us and maybe one or two other brands almost reinvented retro um, in the kitchen, which is great. You know, every, everybody's had a go at doing retro, but for us, it was it was key to our uh, our recent success, let's say six years ago, seven years ago, when we relaunched the retro refrigeration. That was great for us. And we thought about how we can do retro across the kitchen. So we brought out the fridges, then we brought the small domestic appliances, microwaves, kettles, toasters, uh, and then we looked at pots and pans. So for us, yeah, it's been um, retro is fantastic. We're always looking at adding to it. Um, but yeah, there's there's lots of 
weird and wonderful ideas we have with retro. I think there's retro scales um, are being set up. We have retro clocks being set up. Um, so we're, we're always adding to that collection. You know, we want to be that brand that has maybe 30, 40 appliances in five or six key colors. Um, so people can either mix and match. You can have all blue, you can have all gray, or you can maybe look at going, right, I'll have a little bit of blue and a little bit of gray because, you know, mixing and matching the range works really well as well. Um, somebody's asked about the height of the upright vacuums. Um, right, okay. I can't tell you exactly what it is, but what I'll do is I'll get one. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's the that's one of the uprights. I mean, it's again, it's very light. You know, pick it up with one finger there. Um, from a height point of view, it's I'm six six foot two, and it's just above my hip. So. Hopefully that gives it you a says on the website it's 106 centimetres. There you go, it's 106 centimetres, just over a metre. So, yeah, I'm probably two metres tall, so it's probably half my height, so that's about right. Anything else? You should watch it on your phone and then you see the questions. That'd be easier, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, someone says, would love retro paint cutlery to match my appliances. Again, back to the retro thing, we're always looking at um, bits and bobs to fit into retro. So um, for sure, we'll, we'll look at that. Um, cutlery is something we've tried a little bit with, um, but I don't think we've got it quite right yet. Um, you know, we want to build on our success stories. So like the espresso machines, which everyone's gone mad for. Um, I think we're one of the best selling espresso machines in the UK now, um, but we want to build on that. You know, there's going to be a lot more accessories and features coming coming with those products as well soon. Um, but obviously, yes, yeah, Swan is a is a tea brand, so we will for sure be looking at how we can develop the tea market with our products as well. Someone asks, are you planning to do any ironing boards? Ironing boards, yeah, we've done before and um, we will do that. But again, it's about getting rather than trying to reinvent the ironing board, I think we'll probably look at how we can do different patterns and color schemes and things like that to, to, to make that work. You know, we have got other irons coming out. We've got a few new steam generator irons coming out. We've got a new garment steamer coming out because you guys have gone nuts for our garment steamer. So that's done really, really well for us, really put us on the map in a category that we have nothing to do with. But we're looking at a more of market garment steamer, which has got, it's actually got a ceramic head on it. So you can actually, or you can use it as an iron as well. So you can actually turn it horizontally and use it as an iron as well as doing the vertical steaming um so that'll be launching i think shipped actually from china so that'll be here soon um other things are actually sorry just um thinking about it egg boilers i mean i can't believe how many egg boilers we've sold this month it's been it's gone nuts so um very demonstrable product and if you're like me and you struggle doing boiled eggs or poached eggs uh, in a pan have a look at our egg boiler and our stories and our egg boilers um, that our influencers have done it's been it's been phenomenally successful for us and again we love it's such a demonstrable product so to see all the pictures of the perfect eggs being cooked by you guys that's that's really good anything else someone says the union jack kettle in the background do we sell that uh we let me grab it so we did sell this up until a variation of this uh, up until the olympics uh, and then to be honest because of like all the political stuff recently and the uh, and brexit and stuff like that we thought we don't do it. Um, we are running it in a few other countries um, where, because the Union Jacks obviously is quite a fashion piece. It's like the American flag. Um, so if you go to China, if you go to Hong Kong, if you go to Korea, um, the Union Jack is as famous as the uh, is as famous as the uh, United States flag, um, stars and stripes. So that's why we did it. Really, it's more of an international thing for us rather than a, a UK thing. But yeah, I mean. It's a, quite a nice statement piece, um, but I don't know how many we will sell at the minute, so it's not, it's not on the horizon for us. Are the products in any UK stores? Yeah, so a lot of the vacuum cleaners or some of the vacuum cleaners are in Currys. Um, I'm trying to think what stores exist. Like, it's difficult to think about how many retailers there are now to sell electrical appliances, so we do have some in Currys. Um, we are in Argos. Um, you know, for, for these type of products, the the, the the retailers that are doing well are the likes of AO, you know, very Amazon. They're really the, the key customers for these type of products now. So all these products are readily available. And I mean, um, if you don't know, um, if you buy an online product, you are covered by the long distance selling regulation. So you can buy it. And if you don't like it, you can send it back within 30 days, I think it is. So by all means, if you want to buy one of the products just to see what it's like, yeah, have a look at it. But again, there's enough content out there of people using it. And 
as I've stressed in, I think in all of our videos, we try to over deliver with our product. So we want it to be a nice experience. So again, if you've got any problems with the product, by all means, let us know and, and speak to customer service. Do you Swan sell smoothie makers? Uh, no, we don't sell any smoothie makers at the minute. Blenders is a, is a funny, there's, there's, there's two or three really big players in the UK for smoothies and blenders. Um, so it's not something we've, we've looked at. Um, but we've, we've had some ideas on how we can um, make the blenders and, um, uh, and smoothie makers a little bit more niche. So it is something we're looking at. Um, and we're always looking at new categories anyway, because we're not really in that. So um, hopefully there'll be something um, in, the, in the near distant future where we're looking at that. So I think that's everything. So please, uh, like I said, this is the first time we've streamed to YouTube. It's the first time or the second time we've streamed to Facebook and about the fourth or fifth time we've streamed to Instagram. So please make sure you subscribe to us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Our, post our podcast drops every Sunday. By uh, So we're on you know, Spotify. We're on um, Google. Um, so by all means, make sure you subscribe and listen to all of that. Um, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully you've enjoyed. Let's turn them all off here. Yeah.